Hi lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Makeup Misfit. And today I have my Pan That Palette update and I am so excited about it. So of course, as always, the Lorac Mini Pro Palette is what I've been working on for the Fantastic Ladies Fun Size theme this year. And last month I had some really good progress and today I have some even better progress. Unfortunately, I don't have a before photo from last month. So go check out last month's update if you're curious to see what the palette looked like, but I will go over everything with you guys regardless. So let's open her up and see where we're sitting at now. And here's my little palette. So this shade right here, the light pink shimmer, that is the shade that I had completely finished off last month. And clearly there's a few more changes. So this shade right here was the light shimmery champagne type of color that I liked to use on my inner corner or the inner third to inner half of my lid. I do kind of miss it, but I have so much in my collection that I can find something to use in place of it. Um, but I did really enjoy it when I had it in here. So that I completely finished off probably about a week or so ago, maybe a little bit more than that now. Um, but I was really happy when I was finally able to completely finish that shade off. This light brown matte shade, you know that I had hit pan on this a couple of months ago. I expanded it last month and I have expanded it even more now. So as you can hopefully see that I almost have side pan on both the top and this side of the pan. Now I don't know if I wanna focus in on that area over the next few weeks or so, or if I kinda of wanna start reaching down towards this corner down here and get a little bit more pan showing. I'll just have to see where my brush takes me over the next few weeks, but I am excited and curious to see what that shade is going to look like next month. And probably after that, I have a feeling I will be repressing it to completely finish it off, which is super exciting. And then of course the little pan that is showing you guys, this took me so much longer to hit pan on than I really thought it was going to. So I hope you can see the dip that had been created in the middle of this shade. It, it, I feel like it's almost about as large as this pan is showing. So I just kept on working on it and I kept thinking it was around the corner and it wasn't showing, wasn't showing. And then finally, it was only a couple of days ago, I had hit pan on it when I was doing my makeup in the morning and I was so excited about it. Yet I wasn't quite sure where the pan was going to show. So I was kind of surprised as to how small it was actually and how, um, where it was. Sorry, just got a little bit distracted there. So I was surprised to see where the pan showed and how little it was, but nonetheless, I have pan and I am so excited about it. So I haven't used this uh, yesterday, no, maybe it was yesterday. The day I'm filming this, I think it was the day before. Um, so when you're seeing this, it was a few days prior that I had hit it. I'm not wearing it today, even though I probably could have. Um, but I am really excited that now I can focus in on that shade and just expand that pan and know that over the next couple of months, it's eventually going to look like this, which is so exciting. And with that, when it's August now, so I know that these four shades are going to be completely finished off before the end of this year, which is so exciting to me. That is like perfect for me. I will consider this palette complete, happy. I will be done with it. Now these two shades here, I believe I mentioned last month that I am more than likely not going to reach for them until towards the end of this year. That is still kind of where my thoughts are at, at this point. However, this shade, even though I haven't used it, it still has a really nice dip in it. So I do think that when I start to reach for it, there is a chance I'm going to hit pan in it before the end of this year. And I'm really hoping that that's the case. If I hit pan on it, I'm definitely not expecting to expand it too much to finish it off, nothing like that. I do just want to hit pan on it and I will be super happy with that. Now this matte brown shade down here, I know I'm not gonna get anywhere with it. I will use it, hopefully be able to create a dip with it before the end of this year, but we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm in no way expecting myself to hit pan, finish it off, nothing along those lines. So I'm really curious to see what this palette is going to look like in December when this project is over and whether or not I'm actually going to have a decent amount of pan in this brown shade and where I'm gonna sit at with this shade. But I do know that these four are gonna be completely gone because they're already almost there and I'm so excited about it. I wanna say this is gonna take me maybe another two months and I will be finished that. 
and maybe this might actually take me right till the end of the year it depends on how much I reach for it of course um, but either way I'm so excited about it and I'm really happy with how this palette is looking considering I had taken a little bit of a break from it I definitely wasn't reaching for it as much as I was when I first started this project I probably could have had this out if I focused in on it a little bit more but it is what it is it's not the end of the world I'm happy about it and I'm excited that I can have a palette out of my collection. That is what I'm going to do at the end of this project. Regardless of where I'm sitting at with those two brown shades, I will consider this palette completely finished and get rid of it. There is really no use for me to hold on to those two shades when I have so many brown neutral shades in my collection, mattes, shimmers, all of that sort of thing. I'm not going to hold on to these two when I'm not going, I know I'm not going to end up reaching for this palette for either of those two shades. So as long as I can finish off the four that I've been wanting, I have two remaining. Once these are gone, I will be good. And at the end of the year, regardless of having pan or not in the last two, I will consider this completely finished and get rid of it out of my collection and be one less palette. It'll be a little bittersweet, but I'm really excited about it regardless. So that is everything so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i will see you guys all later bye